Hey, what's up guys, Jeremy here. In this video, we will continue exploring the curve follow project feature, but especially how to select the curves that you want to follow with the robot. Let's get started. So we continue with the same station as we had in the previous video. So we have our Motorman robot, our tool and our part. Here it's the path that we created before. So if we click on select curve, we have, as I showed you in the previous video, a uh, window that will appear on the left side of our screen with different options. For now, we will ignore the auto extract curve as it's more meaningful for the next uh, for the next module. So make sure that this one is deactivated. Otherwise, it will create stuff that you might not understand uh, for now. So if I come close here and I decide to uh, select the pad here, you see that we have the arrows and the number showing us that we want to start that we will start from point one here and we'll go to point two here. This is not necessarily exactly what we want. So instead, if we right click on it, we can reverse direction of this path. So here, if we click reverse direction, it will now go from point one here to point two here. So that's way better in this case here. So then we can go ahead and select another curve. Generally, the second curve that you will select will be in the right direction because it will try to find the closest point to uh, the end of the arrow. So here we'll go from point one to point two and then to point three. And then we can select the fourth one here. And then we can click here, done. If we click on update and then simulate, our robot will follow that path without any problem. So I can maybe increase the speed of that simulation a bit, maybe four, remember, you can see the numbers in the bottom left corner. So in here we have 3.3, correct? Cool. Um, so, okay, cool. Now let's say that we wanna start from this point here and to that point here. And now we only have three, point, three curves, so it will be easy to just like delete everything and then restart from scratch. But let's say you just selected like 60 curves or something like that and it would be like very painful to redo it all so you can right click and then you can say here reverse complete path and now it will start from point one and go to point four so if i click done update and simulate it's simply doing the same exact path but in the reverse direction so that's awesome um, if i click select curve i have the option here to select reset selection so this will just remove all selection from the screen. I can also, if I just show you, I can also do that by right clicking in an empty space of my station. So where there is no object or robot or anything. So I can either select the done here, same as this one here, or reset selection here. The, uh, the actual behavior is exactly the same. So if I select, let's say this curve here from point one to point two, what I can also do is auto select next curve. So if I do that, it will select the curves that are, let's say, the closest to this one here. Um, if I reset selection, let's say I select this one here, reverse direction here. If I go ahead and click here instead, auto select all, it will select all the curve here. If you're like, okay, but in this, in my case, it kind of selected a bunch of other stuff here. That's normal. You just have to go to settings and then you can change the settings here, tolerance to join curve and tolerance to join curve in degrees. So by default, I think it's like something like 500. Um, so if you go reset here, you select this one, reverse direction, and then auto select all. It kind of select like this one here and this section here, which is not what we want whatsoever. Uh, but that's fine. It will help me like show you other stuff. You can right click and deselect sections of the of the path directly like that here deselect or you can say okay this piece of selection was exactly what i wanted and then i'm going to want to continue let's say from here you can right click here and you can say start from here i would rename that uh, and we had a discussion with the devs i might it might be renamed once you are using it to continue selection from here instead of start from here because what this will do is it will keep the section before what you right clicked and then it will kind of just erase the rest afterwards. So I can come here, select this section here, five to six, and then auto select all, 
here, that's fine, but I would like to have this part here. So I can right click here, start from here, select this section here, select this section here, and then I can come here, uh, auto select. I can go just to auto select next curve directly here. Perfect. And then I could select the different uh, rounded section one by ones if I want. Um, right click, reset selection. There's also another uh, a bit hidden option that is interesting in certain situation. You can click here, select next. Again, I'm not sure about the naming. It's more like select all. And like what I mean by all is really selecting everything. So it doesn't mean that it will give you exactly the type of path you want. So if you want to kind of follow all this path here properly, it's not doing that. It's more like if you have a bunch of points and you want to select all the points in one blow, but for certain person, it might be something interesting. Uh, another thing that you can do that is interesting, I'm going to go back and to the settings here and bring back the setting to 50 millimeters for distance tolerance to join curve uh, with the auto select. Uh, if you have a hard time selecting many things in term of, let's say, the parts, uh, the paths, you can also play with this one if you make it higher, it will help potentially. Um, so if here by default you have select uh, single curve selection, but if you have propagate selection, you can select this one here and it will select everything that is linked to it. So it works if the selection is in the right orientation. So if you select this one here, it won't work because you have one here to two. I asked my dev, I'll see how, uh, if we ha can have that up update in a near future, maybe it will be available when, when you're watching this one for Robotiki to be uh, able to understand that if I select the curve from this side here, I want to have the point one here and point two here. For now, it's just going uh, in this direction. So if, anyway, so here, if I, if I was to select here, I would like to have one here and two here. So we'll see if that, um, that's implemented, but I can here, here reverse direction. And then as soon as I select the other one here, it's propagating. Uh, if I select here, this one here is propagating like that. If I select this one here, it's propagating around uh, the whole square. So that's awesome. So I can, in this case, I will reset selection and I just want to have these sections here. So reverse selection, I will auto select next curve, auto select next curve, click done. And I can update and simulate and I have the path I wanted. One thing here I want to show you real quick. You see you have path one setting here and path one. If I just delete path one here instead and I call this one uh, curve, oops, curve corner, corner. Let's go and try not to do so many typos. And if I update, now the, the program that is generated automatically will be called curve corner. So that's something I would recommend you to do to have significant name uh, naming. And uh, another thing that might be interesting to know, if you right click on the setting curve corner setting here, you can you can have auto up, uh, update program or control U to create the program here, uh, curve corner. So great. That's pretty much everything for uh, this video. In the next video, we will talk about select algorithm or what it's more like what kind of strategy you want to use to follow the path. So either tool orientation follows path, minimum tool orientation change, robot holds object, robot, robot holds object and follows path. So we'll kind of demystificate uh, what those are and when you should use them. So that's a very important video. I recommend you to watch it and uh, I hope to see you there. And in any case, have a great day, guys.